Texas newly elected state representatives and senators were in Montpelier today to get the lay of the land. NBC5 Stephen Biddicks takes us to orientation week at the state house. We're now just over a month away from the Vermont State House and Senate being back in session. And behind these doors today was new member orientation. It's a bonding experience in that way. Um, it's like being a first, it, it was very similar to my first year in college. Scores of incoming state representatives and senators spending the week at the State House to learn the ins and outs of their new jobs. We have a three and a half day program that we work with the legislative staff to put together to have them be able to hit the ground running in January when they show up and are actually sworn in. Throughout the week-long orientation, the incoming class learns everything from where to park to how to introduce new legislation. We're talking about decorum, civility, what the expectations are of the job. Uh, along with the paperwork side of things. The week also emphasizes the importance of collaboration with the executive branch. Um, there's a lot of collaboration that goes on between the different branches of government, um, the different agencies, the different organizations that you see, and there is just so much to learn. Lawmakers will be sworn in on January 4th, and a third of the House and Senate will be new. It's an exciting time, but incoming Senator Rebecca White says it comes with some first day jitters. You know, am I going to make friends? Am I going to have a good time? Um, do I, am I uh, prepared enough for this? Uh, do I have what it takes? Um, and very quickly you realize that everyone else is experiencing that as, as well. And it will continue tomorrow to make sure newcomers are as prepared as possible come January. In Montpelier, Stephen Biddicks, NBC5 News.